Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Car Blog India, and we have been driving the Kia Carnival since yesterday. We drove it around 90 kilometers on the highway and around 30-40 kilometers in the city. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the reasons why you should consider this car and the reasons you should not consider this car. So this is a reasons to buy and not buy. So we are trying to clear your confusions if you are considering Kia Carnival why you should buy it and why you should not buy it. So let's get started with this video. I'll start with the reason number one to buy. So I'm telling you the reasons to buy. And the reason number one to buy this car is the space it offers. So I'll show you all the three rows that this one has. You get this car in a three different configuration, seven seat, eight seat and nine seat. The one that we have here is the top of the line limousine variant which comes with seven seats. So there are two seats on the front as you can see. The driver seat is also ventilated and they are bucket seats. They give you really good bolster and uh, under thigh support and there are oodles of legroom and just look at the width. It's close to two meter wide, 1985 millimeters to be precise and that width is fantastically uh, utilized on the inside to give you a lot of uh, lateral room so there is enough shoulder room you won't rub shoulders with the uh, other passenger easily in this car it has plenty of room so this is the first row and let me take you to the second row you press this button this is an electrically operated door and it will open itself i'll first show you the last row and then we'll come to the middle row and this is the last row as you can see that there is a flat floor so there's no funny business of uh, you folding your knees up in the last row like uh, some other cars and here you have also got a really big sunroof to add to the feeling of uh, more airiness the glass area at the back in the rear seat is also fairly large it also comes with these uh, sun blinds and this is how much space you get in the last row now let me show you the middle row which i have uh, slide forward to give the access to the last row so i have to pull this up and this, then slide this i can do this with one hand and once i do this you can see the kind of space available here and you can see the space available here so there's still decent amount of space available and these are captain seats since this is the top of the line variant you get uh, these really nice captain seats here and this limousine variant also comes with this 10.1 inch uh, infotainment system so this is a smart infotainment system which comes with wi-fi hdmi there are multiple input output options you have uh, a lot of entertainment for on the go you can also connect it with a hotspot and stream youtube videos on the rear seat of the kia carnival there is also a sunroof here so there is not one but two sunroofs this is the middle row supremely comfortable and if you think it is not uh, enough for you there is icing on the cake you have the leg support so if you are on a really long journey you just open it and enjoy your long journeys in the kia carnival so this is a supremely comfortable car uh, it has oodles of space so the number one reason anyone should consider this car is the space it offers more than anything else don't be fooled by uh, the three rows and don't think that there is not enough uh, luggage room all the seats are exactly in the same position as i showed you just now and still there is 500 plus liters of boot space available if you fold one one of the rows you get more than thousand around 1500 and if you fold all the back rows like the second and third row you get close to 2000 liter of boot space which is crazy it has plenty of volume for boot if you uh, want to not use a certain seat and there's also 60 40 split so you can just pull this lever and then fold the seat you can fit a small uh, <laughs> a small barbecue in here maybe put a bicycle uh, you can put a lot of stuff in this and it is quite deep here as you can see from this angle the boot is quite deep and by the way the tailgate is power operated so you just touch it and it closes it is also a smart boot so if you have 
key in your pocket and if you stand near the tailgate for more than three seconds it will unlock and open the tailgate for you which is great now let's move on to the second reasons to second reason to buy the kia carnival and reason number two to buy the kia carnival is the performance that it offers it is just beast of a car when it comes to performance it comes with a 2.2 liter diesel engine with an 8 speed automatic gearbox which is quite good in shifting it can rev all the way up to 4500 or 4800 rpm and it's a free revving engine it is quite happy to rev right now uh, if i show you uh, performance figures so this is the average fuel economy you can see i'll talk about the economy in a bit so we have been driving it in the city as well as on the highway and it's giving us 10.8 liters but the key here is the performance this car gives you 200 ps of peak power and around 440 newton meters of torque which is crazy for this segment and it is one of the best driving people carrier that uh, i have driven you can carry seven people in supreme comfort and still enjoy the drive like anything and you also have a eco button for uh, economy conscious customers who want higher fuel economy uh, you can just press the eco while you are driving and it puts the car in the eco mode the throttle response becomes less sharp but you start to get more mileage and reason number three to buy this car is the ride comfort why i say ride comfort because the suspension here is really gem of a suspension it has uh, large tires and it has got really good soft uh, suspension it's not very hard and it can easily take undulations and uh, small bumps on the road and it would not seep into the cabin the sheer size of the tires these are 18 inch very wide tires uh, comfortable enough for a very good ride quality especially on good roads if you go on bad roads you will not feel as much of uh, motion in the cabin it, it won't seep into the cabin so much it's slightly on the softer side so the ride is very comfortable besides it being a tall and a fairly large above five meter length vehicle and the reason number four is also very solid and it is the features that this, this car offers just have a look at this car you have drls you have uh, the projector lamps you have the ice cube shaped uh, fog lamps and then you have a lot of chrome here too much chrome here on the sputter wheels maybe it's a bit too much for my taste then you have chrome door handles then you have these uh, push buttons to unlock the car and then you have napa leather uh, seats here electronic parking brake you have three zone climate control system touch screen infotainment push button start steering mounted controls cruise control you have a lot of features uh, two sunroofs there is also charging socket for your laptop so if you are going uh, on a trip and just look at the size of uh, this compartment here you can put a small laptop or a full size tablet here you have wireless charging you have android auto apple carplay uh, you have electric doors you have uh, three row of seats which have uh, very supremely comfortable upholstery you have storage spaces there's plenty of features on offer you have the air conditioning vents here you have the air purifier and this is the laptop socket i was talking about you can just uh, plug in your laptop here directly and uh, it will start charging you have fast charger here this is the air purifier and there is the smart pure air a very sleek display here and it is loaded to the brim when it comes to features it would not be wrong to say that this is probably the most feature rich people carrier or a seven seater or an eight or nine seater that you can buy in indian market this is by far the best loaded car uh, people carrier car that you can buy in the segment that it is going to be launched in and to be honest the feature list is longer than i can actually cover on this video there is connected car feature there's a lot of gadgetry here there's a lot of things that about this car 
that make it very unique and very loaded so what i'll do is that i'll put a link in the description section where you can find all the top features of the kia carnival i'll probably leave a link to the brochure or a website where you can find all the features at one go if you want to compare the variants as well so check out for that link in the description section of this video we are indians and we are obsessed with mileage so reason number five is the fuel economy it offers kitna deti hai is the most common question you would see a customer asking uh, before he is buying a car so ye kitna deti hai with a 2.2 liter engine a very efficient eight speed automatic transmission which is also quite sporty in my opinion this car is rated ARAI rated at 13.9 km to a liter but the actual on road mileage of this car is very close to 11 or 12 for a mixed use if you're driving on the highway and if you're not uh, being very uh, aggressive on the throttle uh, if you go easy on the accelerator pedal you can expect close to 14 or 15 on the highway and if you are in city if you're driving at moderate speeds you can expect somewhere close to 10 So for a mixed usage you can expect mileage between 10 to 12 which is uh, practically superb for a car of this size and this weight and this power that it delivers with a 2.2 liters engine it is easily able to give you a mileage of 10 plus kilometers to a liter on diesel and by the way it is only available with a diesel powertrain there are no options of power trains available when it launches in india with a 2.2 liter diesel and an 8 speed automatic transmission that is the only option that you can get you must be thinking by now that i am only giving you positives of this car but no car can be all good there have to be some shortcomings there have to be some things which may not be so great with this car or so great about this car so i am going to tell you exactly the four things that i noted about this car which in my experience of uh, driving it for these two days that i feel may bother some buyers potential buyers these may not be such deal breakers for you but i am just mentioning these so that you are aware that there are some shortcomings that you should know before you make a purchase decision so the reason number 1 or the first thing that uh, is not so great about this car is handling now don't get me wrong it drives really great the steering feedback is also superb but when it comes to handling because of the sheer size weight and the height of this car if you try to do quick maneuvers you will feel a lot of roll inside the car and since it is uh, designed for good ride comfort the suspension is on the softer side so it tends to roll even more because of that but having said that the steering feedback is excellent and the steering weirdly enough is quite heavy on the slower speeds and it tends to become more comfortable to drive on the higher speeds and in fact at higher speeds it feels really good it feels it's very well in control and the tendency for the steering to get back to the center is quite strong so it is not as much power assisted as you would find on some other korean cars or if you are used to of driving some korean cars like uh, hyundai's their steerings are fairly light but it is not the case here and i think that's a good thing but when it comes to handling then it misses out some points because this is probably not the driver's car and i would suggest if you are buying this car it is best enjoyed in the middle row so you probably give it to your chauffeur let him drive and this is probably not the car you would enjoy driving so much because it is very large car and it is meant to carry you around or chauffeur you around it is best enjoyed in the middle row let's move to the second reasons why i think uh, it is not so impressive while this is very subjective but i feel that the design of this car especially the exterior design looks kind of dated or boring uh, it's not bad it has the signature tiger nose grill that kia cars get it has got the oomph factor with these uh, some elements that i really like the front is probably the best looking part of this car but look at it from the side and it looks no different from most minivans so 
here it's not very uh, exciting in terms of design but still kia has uh, tried a lot to give it the floating roof effect and everything and there are not much of creases or body lines here it's quite bland and quite simple and the rear is also quite simple and sophisticated so while the design is good and sophisticated it tends to be quite dull and very simple looking which may not go well with some buyers who prefer uh, you know attractive looking cars which have more flamboyant design and we are in india so there's a lot of subjectivity about design and i feel that that is one point where this may lose out for some buyers now the third reason why i uh, which i think is a shortcoming of this car which may be an advantage great advantage for kia is that there is no competition for this car in india if you look at it practically the car of this size and the seat and these features and it will probably be around 30 lakh rupees price segment a few lakhs here and there the top of the line is expected around say 35 so you will get it on road around 40 lakh rupees and there is no competition to this car in india when it will be launched here so it gives a huge advantage to kia to price it the way they like and since there is no competition uh, it gives a huge advantage uh, for the uh, you know it 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 leads to no choice for the customer if you want something in the 40 lakh price segment which can ferry people around in a lot of comfort then this is probably the only car you can get which has so many features and this much comfort having competition is always good when you have competition when there are multiple vehicles in the same segment every manufacturer tries to make their product differentiated and better and don't get me wrong this is already uh, very loaded and i would probably not be able to nitpick on this uh, more because it already has more features than i can ask for in a people's carrier this is more loaded than i would want it to be and this is really really good in terms of features but since there is no competition that creates two problems one uh, there may not be price control in the long run when it becomes popular the brand can uh, increase the prices at will and since there is no competition there is no choice for the customer so you can't really go to any other car if you are not very impressed with this car which is a problem in my opinion and i'm categorically telling you that there is no competition because i am not considering innova crista to be a competition to this innova crista is a smaller car it has less space and it has much less features although it comes close to the uh, price segment because the top end of uh, crita is uh, sorry the top end of innova crista is somewhere around 25 lakhs whereas this would probably start around 25 to 30 lakhs and will go up to 30 35 lakhs but I would seriously not consider uh, Innova Crista in this segment. I would consider it smaller car than this one. And while we are at it at nitpicking, trying to find things that are not so great about this car, this is one of the things that I think is not so great, which is this A pillar. It creates a sort of a blind spot if you look at it from this angle, where I see uh, the road from the driver's eye level. But if you just uh, you know bend down a little towards the steering you can see that there is a small quarter glass here through which you can see outside now it solves a problem say you are driving in a city and a very congested road and you are not able to really see what lies on your extreme right very close to you it can create a blind spot while taking a turn or while changing the lanes it may be a problem uh, of visibility uh, especially around the corners otherwise it's fine the view from the front glass is superb you can easily see that uh, the side visibility the rear view mirrors are really large in size and comfortable to uh, you know view what's going on on the rear and the rear view mirror here also has a good coverage when it comes to visually checking what is behind your car so there is no other visibility block other than this a pillar which uh, probably could have been designed slightly differently i think that this portion is quite thick and then maybe this is to for the strength and the safety feature so i would not uh, uh, complain too much but this is a slight inconvenience for people driving this car uh, especially while taking corners towards the right hand side it may create some visibility block so just be careful and be thoughtful about this apart from that uh, i don't find many flaws so these are the four 
small nitpicks that I'm able to find about this car and not much. Uh, before I wrap up the video, I'll tell you things that I really love about this car. One, it drives beautifully. It gives you really good performance. Second, the audio system is superb. The feature set is amazing. It has ventilated driver seat. Uh, it's sad that it's not on the passenger side. It also has power controls for the driver side seat. So you can electrically adjust uh, the driver seat but it is also not available on any other seat. The rear seats, the middle seats get these uh, features which is the footrest and these almost trick liner like seats which is really great. It has two sunroofs which I like. It gives you good mileage. So overall it's a big thumbs up. There are some uh, shortcomings but those can be overlooked uh, if you look at the positive sides of this car. And if you think the shortcomings are big deal breaker for you, then too bad, there is no competition. You can't go to any other car in this price segment and this feature segment, what you get with the Kia Carnival. So that is my two cents about the Kia Carnival. This is all we have on our video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button, stay subscribed and press the bell notification icon for our latest video updates. Keep watching Car Blog India. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Bye bye for now.